What's going on people? It's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to auto filter data and copy it to a new tab. So what we want to do here is use this data on the right and we're going to want to filter by region and then copy everything from that region to this tab and only things from that region. So let's get right into it. We'll call this sub copy filter data and we'll start off by declaring our variables we'll count the number of columns from left to right to, the, to, to determine how wide our range is and then we'll also count the number of rows from top to bottom to decide how long our range is and that'll be an integer and then we're also going to need to declare our worksheets so I'll call the first one the original set of data and then the second will be the output okay first what we're going to want to do is set the original data equal to this workbook sheets and then the sheet here is called sheet one and then our output is going to be the same thing except it'll be sheet two So now for our counts. So our column count is going to be equal to worksheet function dot count a and our range is going to start here at A4. We're going to want everything to the right so we're going to count from left to right here so we're going to use xl to right and then for our row count we're going to do the same thing And we're going to start from the same location, A4. Except this time, we're going to be counting down. Okay. So what we want to do is filter the data first. So with the active sheet, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and activate our sheet in the beginning. So we're going to activate sheet one. And our range for the auto filter is going to start here at A4. And the field is going to be field two, the region.
and for our criteria we could put in whatever region we want and just type it there but let's take it a step further and just use a cell so like here for the example I have, I have a cell already typed I have Oceana typed here already um, so let's do that let's put in near east so now we'll reference that cell and this cell is we'll down two and then over six so we're gonna do cells two six and we're gonna want that value so now we filter the data and we're gonna wanna bring everything that gets filtered over to the next sheet to sheet two so in order to do that we're gonna go back to here where we have our original and our output We'll start with our original, and the range we want for that is going to be cells 4, 1, so down 4, 1. We're going to start here for our range, so 4, 1. And then we're going to go all the way to the right and all the way down. So then we're going to have to reference count row. Because that'll get us the number down and then count column will get us a number across. So now we want to do a special cells Excel cell type visible. So you want to only select the visible cells and we want to copy those cells then on our output we'll just paste it to the very first cell so that'll be one one paste special XL paste values. Now we're going to want to turn off the cut copy mode. So you just do application cut copy mode is now equal to false. So let's run what we have so far. Okay, so we have an issue here. I spelled visible wrong. Sorry about that, let's try it again. So you see we filter by near east, near east and everything here on the next sheet is near east. So if you wanted to change this up and put Oceana, for example, and we're to run it again, everything's filtered by Oceana, and then on the next page, Oceana is there. Only problem with this method is if the data is smaller than the previous data, you'll still see the previous data on here. So let me let me show you with an example. So you see how Oceana comes all the way down this, all the way down to, to row 22. If I were to change this and put Eastern Europe, for example, and run it. Eastern Europe's a smaller data set, right? So now when it's paste it over, I still have everything from Oceana. So what we want to do to prevent this is clear the data when we first start. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll do this workbook. Sheets. 
sheet two. Cells, clear contents. That will get rid of everything previously put on sheet two. So let's run it again. So now this is good here. Now if you wanted to get rid of this highlighted range here, and maybe have it look like this when it's done. And also if you don't want to have this filtered after the macro is complete, you can do some extra coding at the end. So let's do that. We can do this worksheets. Sheet one will show all data. And then we'll also take the auto filter off. In order to do that, you just want to say auto filter mode. Is equal to false so that'll clear sheet one sheet two if you want to have this selected this first cell we can activate sheet two and then with the active sheet So that should do it. That'll make it more aesthetically pleasing. So let's try running it again. But I'll change this to Oceana again. So you see if you go to the first sheet, there's no filter. And then sheet two is clean. If I revert back to Eastern Europe, and run it, we're all good to go. So that's all I have for this video. Really appreciate you watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, thank you.